Orlando police say a child is one of two people in custody after a deadly shooting at an apartment complex. Good afternoon to you. I'm Carla Ray. Officers were called out to that apartment complex along Mercy Drive just before midnight. It all started with a fight between two women and then a child shot one of those women who was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Channel 9's Q McRae is live outside of the Orlando Police Department right now. And Q, what happened here? Was there a motive in this case? You know, at this point, Carla, that's still all up in the air, but I did have an opportunity to head over to the Windsor Cove apartment complex. And I had an opportunity to speak with a lot of the members of the community there, including the victim's best friend. And as you can imagine, right now they are saddened by this news and what they experienced and witnessed late last night. We have some video to show you right now. This is a picture of the victim. Now, we're not going to release her name at this point because OPD hasn't at this point, but her friends call her Bone. And apparently Bone last night was grilling up some barbecue with her friends, including her best friend who we spoke to off camera. And they said around uh, 10 to midnight, uh, for some reason, uh, one of the neighbors started an argument with Bone. The argument escalated. And at some point, the daughter of the other woman came up with a gun and shot Bone. Bone uh, died later at the hospital. Now, according to the, the victim's best friend, uh, again, Bone was just trying to celebrate Memorial Day. This is the last thing she expected to happen. Here's what she had to tell us. I'm trying not to cry so bad because I know for a fact she is so sweet and I love her and I'm definitely going to miss her. She will always be in my heart and in my soul. Hour, an hour and a half ago for Bone. Um, they say that she's lived in the Windsor Cove apartment complex for years now. She's well known in that community. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the, the mother and the daughter who are taken into custody here at OPD, uh, it's still unclear if they're facing any charges at this point. All we know is that they were taken into custody for questioning their names haven't been released yet. So we'll stay on top of this story. Once we get another update from OPD, we'll let you know. Until then, that's the latest here live. I'm Hugh McCray, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.